So like, yeah. I, like I said, like I'm saying, if you're gonna call the movie Fall Guy, why not release it during the fall? Why wait for spring, summer? I agree with you. I mean, yeah. Well, let's go get some ice cream. Okay, let's go. <laughs> uh, two fat guys at the movies, and just wanted to. It's been a while since we've seen a movie. It actually been like a month. It's actually almost a little, bit over, a little longer than a month since we've seen a. Well, it is the May day. It's yeah, it is the first of May, and I think this has been out for a, like a couple weeks, hasn't it? No. Or did it just come out this week? Uh, today was like a special presentation. That's oh, was it really? Yeah. Oh. But I think it either starts. Either... I thought it came out already. No, because yeah, tonight was a special presentation. That makes sense in what the the thing. Well, yeah, the whole like, little fog guy thing. Yeah. Keep popping up, yeah. They kept on just looping. So yeah, guys, if you didn't uh, figure it out, we saw. Uh, is is it Fall Guy or is it the Fall Guy? The Fall Guy. The Fall Guy. Based on like a mid '80s TV show. Uh, I TV never show. watched that TV show, so I I'm guessing. And again. If you're new to watching Two Fat Guys of the Movies, spoilers are coming. So, you know, if you don't want to get spoiled for the movie, go ahead and stop the video here. Go watch the movie. Come back. And... Yeah, well, M'Baku was in it. M'Baku. <laughs> he's he's M'Baku. all... M'Baku. M'Baku. Uh, e Bombay. He's all... At the end of the movie, he's like, yeah, you know who that was, right? And I was like, yeah. He's like, no, you didn't. He didn't fucking know. He didn't fucking know. He didn't. But yeah, um, I'm going to... I'm going to, like, I was... Okay, so here's the thing that's about this movie it's not really there's nothing really can really spoil for this movie it's basically about basically the like the, the, i guess i i you know i was like a kid when the show was on um i will sort of say that i was like kind of watching the movie like what where the hell is lee majors so you know I, one of the things i wasn't sure he was still alive however there's like a mid-credit scene where he he, he plays a part of like a <laughs> he's, he's a friend, cop he's a cop in, in in uh australia but whatever and I think the gal who played the Jody in the show was the other one because I'm I'm sorry, but age did not help. Oh, you her. mean the producer? No, 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 no. The Jody was the, the director. Yeah. I think there's a character in the show was up because I looked it up earlier on IMDb. No wonder I think I didn't know if it was Lee Majors or not in it. Mm -hmm. You know, people don't know Sixty Million Dollar Man, which again a show back in the seventies I I don't remember. Really old, yeah. You know. Yeah. Anyways. Um yeah, but I think the the blonde that was there with them was like uh, I think I, I th don't I don't know for sure but I think she was the actress who played Jody in the show in the show okay yeah so like when they, basically they, the plot is like he's a stuntman I don't know if he had his own crew in there or not but like I said it I think it may have, being a kid maybe when my parents were watched it and watched it a little bit but basically a stuntman where let's face it in all those 80s shows where um you, know, you have like like a plot hey I'm a stuntman all of a sudden like oh hey guy was murdered you know on set or whatever i have to go solve the crime because it's you know because plot so that's basically all it is like same thing with like equal equalizer yeah he, he yeah would go, he would go town to town yep. and something would you know pop up you know like a crime of the of the week if you will i mean just like uh like the flash show was basically where they had literally had like a villain of the week or, oh, yeah, even yeah, even in the 90s Flash. That's yeah, same, well, that's, that's same what we're thing, talking about, basically, yeah. Basically, yeah, you had like a villain of the week. week. yeah. So, basically, you have, you know, plot, crime plot of the week where a stunt guy is the only person who can ever really solve the crime. So, for those of you who, like, okay, quick summary of the movie, and you're going to love this. Uh, so, the movie is about, as, as Mr. J was saying, a stuntman uh, played by Ken from the Barbie movie. And yeah, and he uh, he's the stuntman for uh, Quicksilver. And Taylor Johnson. Yep. Or or kick ass. We can go kick ass. Or, or that one. Or 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 or. From... Hear me out. Craven the Hunter. No. 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 You think that was gonna be bad I, too? I I, I <laughs> honestly I hate saying this, but to me it looks like it's could be crap. To be crap. Better than Madam Web though. <laughs> yeah. It was. It was, it was oh. Hell, any, anything's better than that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I'll, I'll go on. I'll go out and say this like Mo Morbius, Mobius, Morbius, Mobius. Morbius was better. Yeah, it was. Uh, I've guy, actually watched Morbius access. more than once. Early access. Okay, early access. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So basically, and then Quicksilver accidentally killed one of the other stuntmen, and so he cut. And he's not very smart. So in order, yeah, in order, so he contacts to, his producer. The producer, yeah, in order like, to uh, you know do something, they get this other guy coming and say, "Hey, we need you to come in and do this stunts," and then they basically have him the uh, was it the rotor right on the rotor thing where they go around and like map his face out. So they basically map he, him so they can so easily they CG him. You know, so they deep fake his face in this 
you know, in the CGGD phase, whatever you call it, yeah. Uh, there is one, pl there is one thing that was in the film, or was the beginning of the film. So basically, uh, Ryan's character, like he's supposed to do a stunt where he falls back, where he does a stunt, and they didn't like. He didn't. The the main actor didn't like it. He's like, no, I don't like it. Don't like it. Can you do it backwards? Yeah, because it was like, yeah, yeah, show too much face. Too and, much yeah. face, and so, but then like he did something on the rig, which is. Sped it up. Sped it up, so he came down too fast. Then he ended up hitting the ground and ended up like Bro you know broke his, back. broke his back. So he you know quit stunt. He quit being a stuntman for I was say eighteen months. Yeah, a little bit right. over a, year, a little bit over a year. And so that was why he wasn't. He was gone. So what I find interesting about this movie is it's it is uh it's about a stuntman. So so it was kind of interesting to see them film. Film them doing stunts oh, actually, yeah. while actually doing the stunts. Whole, the whole why they're more than white double filming. Why why they? Yeah, that was actually that was hilarious. Like you know because like because you know, here's, here's the they're though. driving and they're oh, showing them filming. The first thing where he does the cannon roll or whatever. Yeah, the, I'm sure you could easily have like you know again you got you know a screenshot of them in the car you know that's directing. Yeah, yeah. And then they could actually have them the actors in a separate vehicle where they actually have the director and whatever you know the crew. Yeah. But no, like I said, because the whole uh, credits rolling before they hit the med credit scene were actually them showing the behind the work stuff. Yep. With of with Ryan Gosling's stunt doubles as well, like doing the stunts. You know, yeah. Working. Or him tied up to the to the railing so they the can do the, and, yeah. the rigs and stuff like that as they did. I mean, because there are close up shots. I'm sure some of the stunts he did do, which were you know were like probably probably like the practical. not not dangerous ones. Yeah. But like I said, you know, th there is one point um, that they did make in this movie that I I, I do think the Academy should um, start doing once for stunt people. So I thought there was one. I thought they did. I mean, I know. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing, because I I thought there was a, an I thought there was for like best stunt because isn't because don't they have because they have like special effects like oh this movie won for best special effects that's, I'm not I'm not taking no, anything that's, away that's, from no 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 that's people doing the special effects the CGI stuff. I know that, I know I know what you're talking about I know what you're talking about I'm saying is like I'm not I'm not taking <laughs> right there oh I'm not oh. taking I'm not taking anything away from okay, special they have, they have yet they have yet. Yeah, special effects are one thing, but you got these people putting their literally they putting their lives well, on the line. Well, that's that's that, that's what I was saying. Like, I feel like if we're gonna give awards to people that are sitting on oh. a computer, creating worlds and scenes, I mean, I I'm not taking anything away from from those people because like it because for someone who has done some special effects like with like not with YouTube but just some side projects I've been working on, it, it is very time consuming. It is it is it is a lot of work. But I, I, I feel like if you're going to take the time to give an award to somebody or, or not to somebody, but to like a, a group of people doing something like that on a computer, why not do it for somebody or, or like a group of people who put their lives on the line? Because here, let's be honest. Yes. You've actually had some of those people. There are some been, movies. We have some of those people that the, have actually literally lost their lives. And stuff. they lost their lives, right. There are some movies and there are some movies and some scenes that this, there's no way you could do it with practical. There's no way. Like, I'll use Star Wars, for example. There's a Star Wars can be done practical. Obviously, it was done practical in the very... I mean, and, and when I say CG... Or special effects. A lot of people get it misconcept. Like, oh, like that was on a computer. Yeah, they've been using special effects since like the fifties. It's just like different. It's just evolved from using different camera tricks. You know, like you know the trick where you have your hand up and you're like really far away, and the way the perspective of the camera looks like you're small and you're yeah, like they, in. They did that for Lord of the Rings. Right, or like Lord of the Rings, like they did where camera they have, perspective yeah, to they, make them look have, like, smaller. Ian McKellen, Gandalf, be up here or back here, and then you have uh, and Frodo, then just do you know, like the camera trick to bring it so it looks like they're standing next to each other. So I mean, there are certain things that can be done practically, and it looks. I feel like it looks better. Like I feel like they also did have little people actors for when they had to do like shots of shots of them running because like, um, when they were running out of. You know, I'm not even gonna try to remember the name of the the where they fought where the where the Balrog showed up. They're was it too slim? I uh, no. Anyway, they also had it. In the, they also had them like in the scene when they were running out of the pub. Because I think they were like, being chased by the horse. I think they had. The, they, um, they, I remember um, whatever those spirits were called. The the horse. The, um, the yeah. Ring, right. 
Anyway, yeah, because I, I think they actually had to uh, CGI Elijah Wood's face. I don't know, because they had, had to actually look at the camera. Which is, again, one of those things where you're doing an action shot. And it just clearly must have been, like, the best shot. So, you know, they, I do know, I remember watching it like, behind the scenes on one of them. They, they actually showed them, with their, or they actually had... I mean, they weren't, like, detailed masks of the actors' faces. But you could tell that, okay, this one is Pippin, Mary, you know, whoever. Yeah, yeah. So I, I guess the point yeah. is like like there's like 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 special effects has been around for for cent, for a long Ever. time now, been around for a long time. It's evolved into like you know doing the whole thing on the computer and you know the actor just stands on like like okay here's an example like I I like I think I think one of the things I enjoyed about like like say like the Force Awakens over like the, the prequel trilogies is that the prequel trilogies rely too heavily on the computer so it didn't feel as real to me the world was the world wasn't as a, as alive as like when then then when they did force weekends they went back to doing practical effects well they, they okay for instance um the, so i felt more yoda simon, for was, example was it simon pegg's yeah the character you played um like the junk dealer who would give like a uh, half portion for whatever yeah um they actually, he was on set. He had the mask. Like, like the mask itself didn't actually you know, move, and so they don't know mouth movements. Yeah. So they CG the face on it for when he's like doing the lines, but he was actually still on set wearing like, this mask. So yeah, and and, and oops, and sometimes, sometimes, um, sometimes like, okay, for example, um, James Gunn's brother. Sean Gunn. Sean Gunn. Okay. I, I can yeah. I talked to him. He did just talk to him. He gave him a little Lego yeah, figure of himself. No, no. Uh, not a Lego. I, I gave him a uh, I, know, I, can't I thought it was a mini fig. Yeah, was, you said Legolas. Oh I no, I meant Lego. Mini fig. Yeah, um, Anyways. Uh, well he was on set and, and he was like the stand in for um Rocket. for Rocket. Right? So or and it, or like oh who's the actor who who, who does Golem and he's been like in the Andy Circus. Andy Circus, yeah. So like, like he literally was like. Oh, you mean like the guy who's probably? Oh, in yeah. This he, movie? Well, he does most of those. Well, I'm just gonna say most of those characters. He actually won't be playing Caesar anymore. I mean, well, yeah. Oh, cause, sorry, sorry. Hold on. Never mind. That's gonna be spoiler territory. So never mind. Well, I mean, didn't Caesar die in the last one? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna ruin. He's not gonna ruin anybody. But no, I'm, what I'm saying is like, or 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 like when they did the the. The uh, Michael, I say Michael Bay, but it wasn't really Michael Bay. Um, when they did the turtles, the two turtle movies, they were in motion. Or uh, Thor, Thor uh, oh, okay, Marvel, like with Hulk, oh. and like and like Josh Pro and with Thanos, like they're in motion capture suits, you know. So so like so when they so the CG looks more like it, it, it gives more life to it because it's not like oh they just someone just animated it in the computer. They actually animated it based off of somebody's actual movements and like facial expressions. So, I just I just feel like I just feel like if we're gonna give rewards for people who do that kind of work, like the special effect work, like why are we not why are we not giving it for people who actually jump from like a fifty foot building and then you know fall onto like a an airbag, I guess, so that then later the special effects people can go in and and digital out all the wires and stuff like that and it looks like oh they fell off a building and they hit the ground and they splattered no well, i think basically they, you I know think, what i mean i'm sure they do like several takes where it's like okay he's falling from the building he's the and then him hitting the ground and then, and then, yeah then they'll yeah and then like well you know those shots like they like in the movie like it did the credits if you saw where he was like standing like this in the water and then he just kind of just oh, and he just went back yeah. that was probably like because he got knocked away really far and then they do the shot of him just oh just falling backwards and then you splice it together and it just looks like, you know, oh, pfft, yep. you oh, know. It's Hollywood magic. Hollywood magic. I like the movie. It was very entertaining. Um, like Ryan Gosling's fucking hilarious. It's like a have you watched the Barbie movie? I, I have. That's why I, that's, I, I, he was the best part of that I mean, movie. I, I will, I will tell you. Uh, the best me, part of that movie. Best, sorry. Second sorry, best, Maggie Barbie. Because Margot Robbie. Hot. Margot Robbie. Sorry. Anyways, but no, I, I, I watched the movie and I'm like, I, I, why, why is this book? But anyway. That's my opinion. If people want to find it, hell, they can probably find some. I can, about. I can see. I okay, not to get off track, but Barbie, I can see the way the film was directed and the story. I can see where a certain group of people can take something out of context and try to make it something that's not. But I don't think the movie itself was made 
with that intent. Like they like that's like like that's like that's like that's like making that's like doing something that gets people stabbed. You didn't do it with the intent that people are gonna get stabbed. You just made something that you had a lot of passion about, a lot of heart, and you're like, this is really cool. And then you go, oh, people are using it to stab people. That wasn't my intent for people to get stabbed. That's how I kind of yeah, look at that. You're stabbing off a lot. Are you trying to get like some subliminally? Like, yeah. Tell people, hey, if you watch this video, go stab. Yeah. Some, no, yeah. No, yeah. we don't want that. So we don't want that. No, we don't want that. But, but you get what I'm saying, though. Like, oh, but we really want that. We really want that. Maybe we'll CG, like, you know, Elf or whatever. Or the meme back here going, going, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of like what I was, was kind of pointing out. Like, you know, but yeah, he was the, he was... Uh, very funny in that movie. That's like I said, like, go to very go, funny in this go. movie, and I feel like I've seen him in something else too. I know he's. I think he's. He has he been most of teen movies, hasn't it? Like those right. really ridiculous like teen movies. I feel like. I feel like. I feel like. Because I know he's not a new actor. I know he's not oh, like. He's like it feels like now he's an upcoming actor. Now it feels like he's like you know he's gonna start unless, headlining a lot of unless, movies unless he's doing like uh, where he's like now branch. That's like. Now he's like, hey, look, I can do serious roles, but you know, I think he wasn't remember the Titans. See, that's what I'm, I see. I and, and the thing is, I don't think he's like played a lot of like leading roles, but I think well, he's he been in, a lot of supporting he, roles. You know, he was in, he was in uh, Drive, or of course Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Okay. I never, you know, what, I never have to watch Nice Guys. Maybe I should. No, I haven't right. watched that one either. He was in Drive. Well, he was in Lars and the Real Girl. I saw that somewhere. I could actually watch it. Clearly, he was in the Notebook. So there's your leading man right there. That movie's old. Yep, he was Remember the Titans. Okay, I think he was just one of the uh, the players in the team, like one of the. Oh shit! He was. It was there was a show called Young Hercules, and he played Hercules. Oh, I mean, I can see it. I mean, I can definitely see it. Like, he's been in a lot of stuff. He was even in Goosebumps. A lot of stuff that I haven't seen. <laughs> but I mean, like, I, I, it's it's more of like I oh I've seen him like in trailers or whatever, but it's the stuff I haven't watched. I guess is no, what but I. When I went. We're going. We're going in this movie. I to see the couple trailers. Actually, I think it was the trailers we saw here. I think it was just the trailers we saw in the theater. Um, I didn't bother to watch any trailers online. Because yeah, it was like basically it comes to me, it pops up to me. It's like it's um, I think it's gonna be like a straight up action movie where you know, like I said, the plot of the show where you know, you know, maybe you have a few you know throwaway lines that are kind of haha. But that's had a few of them. Well, no, what I'm saying is I'm I. See the trailer, I expect like a straight up action movie where like, you know, our actor's missing, we need to go find we need to help find him and you know, kind of like a like a serious And he wasn't really missing, yeah. they were just trying to set him up so that they could well, yeah. set him up to be the no, one. No, but who... what I'm saying like, like Equalizer, I mean of course that show was straight up serious where you know, again Fall Guys kinda of like the same thing where, you know, it but here it actually works as an action comedy. See, I'm kinda in I'm interested of kind of like looking up the TV show now just to like see like was was the show like over the top ridiculous no, no. or was it like you know your typical like what like did they make this movie like did they make the characters a little bit over the top like ridiculous I think they did it for the movie because yeah the, the show wasn't a comedy so okay so that, that that would probably answer my question I was wondering I wondering I was wondering how much comedy was actually the show like I'm with I'm assuming with I'm assuming the main character. Now there was one thing I noticed at the end of the movie, like when they when they did the whole like oh the Jason Momoa thing was hilarious. But <laughs> well, here's the funny thing: you should have seen it comedy because what is it? Is it like Momoa or Momoa? You know, they had a yeah, 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 yeah. I thought that, I thought that was funny when they, they, they played the trailer. And, and you know what's even funnier about like the in in the movie the movie trailer didn't it remind you of Doom? A little bit like Star Wars, Matt, Matt, Doom, the kind of thing. Well, like with the space, with the space. You can show it's like not an original type esque movie. Well, yeah, it's supposed to be like a, a, a like a like a spoof of Star Wars in a way. Um, but actually, I was kind of like, damn, I kind of want to watch, watch this movie too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's all I really got for for this. It was it was definitely a, a four out of five for yeah. me. I mean, it's a solid movie. Four and a half. You know, it I was, said it was a chuckle. It was a, it was a, it was a, it was a chuckle. Blunt, Emily at any blunt, uh, time, running and her boobs were bouncing, which at, <laughs> gave it, you know, that gave it the half. Anytime I, I like a movie, like there's a scene that's hilarious, and I like, look over and I see him busting up laughing. It's a good movie, especially uh, there was one movie. Well, I don't know if you call it a movie, but it was a movie that we saw 
They oh, had jackass. him fucking rolling. You're talking about jackass. Jackass forever. Or... <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what. Every time that dog, I was like, ooh. <laughs> Don't mess with Russian. Is it Russian, right? Mm. The dog. Is it speaking Russian? Oh, in the movie. Yeah, it was French. Or Fr- oh, was it French? Okay. Yeah. Don't mess with French dogs. Hello, Jean Luc. No, they eat your balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has, he has like a special thing where he, he like, well, he still bites him in the balls. Like, yeah, no, 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 no. We don't need to talk about that. We talk about that. We don't talk about that. So. Uh, the whole like conversation with the dog. Woof. All right, fine. Click. Click. <laughs> yeah. Going on again. It's like, woof. All right, all right. And he buckles him down. Post it notes. Isn't it funny though that how we refer to these actors now we don't ever refer to them as the real name. He's like, oh yeah, that was Ken. That was Quicksilver. Yeah. That was. <laughs> That's Magneto. Or Gandalf. Or, uh, well, there's two people that played uh, Magneto now. You know, so. But, that's Batman. No, it's Michael Keaton. No, that's Batman. No, that's that, not he's Michael Keaton. That is Batman. Oh, uh, uh, that's the vulture. That's the vulture. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's the bird man. That's the guy who started him. Uh, helped. Was it started him? Yeah, it, was, it was like in a movie about McDonald's. I don't know if he was one of the guys who were basically. Was ad, did they add us for McDonald's? or Something actually, like that. Something the like founder, that. I believe that movie was called. Yeah. Again, oh watched. yeah, the McDonald's one. Yeah, yeah it was Mc- the founder. I like that movie. So uh, yeah, guys. Well, of course you like that movie. You're a fat guy. Yeah. Well, I wanted to watch it. I was like, oh, this is actually really good. What the hell? Like, I was interested. I I think it was over. I, it's not an actual documentary of the rise of McDonald's or how McDonald's came about, but it, it's like it's like the Social Network. It, it takes liberties with the story, it kind of over embellishes well, it for for the for the film. Well, like, that being an actual like documentary. Here, here's like the thing like we were discussing like I think someone sent something the other day about Mark Wahlberg. And, you know, it was funny like a lot of his movies have been based on true stories. That King Arthur King. Uh, oh, the guy who played Mark Wahlberg. I love what Mark Wahlberg. Uh, Father Zuckerberg. King. No, no, I'm talking about Mark Wahlberg. Like how like he's been in like a lot of uh, a lot of like based on true stories like that like, art. King Arthur King. Oh yeah. Uh, Pain and Gain was another one. One of those things like, like it's like hi, that Father Stu, and there's like, there was like the one that was a pa- Patriots Day or whatever about the Boston Marathon bombings. I mean, it's, you got you got to stop thinking like, well, dude from Boston, you know, so I'm sure he'd be a shoe in for that. But anyway, like you got to wonder like how many of those movies are actually factual to the point where it's everything is all you know. It's they like, always say. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen some of those movies, but they usually. If a movie's based off of true events, they say they say the following story is based off of true events. And when they say based off, that means like, for example, the the uh, the Iron Claw. There, it, it was based off a true story, but they they sped some things up and they cut some stuff out. Yeah, whole brother, but they I, cut an entire brother out. How, however, but like, like you said in that review, they would have got redundant because the same kind of thing happened to him as one of the other brothers. So. Well, it's not that only that, but it, he even even uh, Kevin Von Erich said the same thing. Like, like you know, you already had like four brothers die, or like three brothers die. You don't really need to bring in another one. Another yeah. one, and yeah. So yeah, I so like like oh, you forgot one that he's done that he's done that's based on true true events. Transformers last night because you know King Arthur. That was a, that and was you a, can't remember. You remember the the Transformers helped yeah. Jesus. You, you, you know, <laughs> you know that was a really. Like a, like, like like a, a stretch that like you're, like you're almost there and then like I'm almost there we're almost we're almost there. but and we're gonna have to start over again yeah was, so uh, yeah, yeah. That, that was a, that was a reach that was that was that was and, beyond and, a reach around that was that was well, you, that, reach, that, that, you reached to someone you, else you, you were reaching for something and it you, wasn't there you be like shit and it's like oh ah man. shit that's uh, that's like reaching into a bucket and you put your hand out and it's just covered in shit. And, and then, but you don't acknowledge it because if you acknowledge it, then everyone's gonna make fun of you. Or like, then you have like a bucket. What's in the bucket? Could be pudding. Like, oh, you put it in. Could be pudding. Oh, it's pudding. It's pudding. It, oh, oh, that's not pudding. Yeah. <laughs> no. So yeah. You, you overreached. So. You overreached. <laughs> it's a new shirt. You overreached that one. Uh, yeah. So mm-hmm. it is May. I think the next film we're probably gonna be seeing is uh, is a Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Something with monkeys in it. Something with monkeys in it, yeah. Well, something with monkeys, and then after that, I think it's Deadpool. Well, no, I don't I mean, think there's anything. Well, I mean, I'm sure there'll be. Some, I'm sure there'll probably be like two or three other movies that will like. Yeah, hey, let's go watch there's, it. There's like, there's like a movie with Ryan Reynolds coming in, like a Grimace from McDonald's. I think's in it. I'm out already. No, it's not out yet. Oh, 
Okay. You're thinking of imaginary. That was about an imaginary. No. What? Oh, I don't know. I'll have to. I'll have to use special effects to put the cloud. <laughs> okay. Get the hell out of here. Okay. Oh. Hey, you'll sign off. No, you're supposed to do the folks. Oh right.